Greetings, travelers, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, presented by Draco Breach. Last time, we talked to this guy, Simon, to discover that this little girl, Pura, is the director. And there's a book. About the Sheikah Sensor, author Simon. The Sheikah Sensor is one of the basic runes found on the Sheikah Slates. If it senses an ancient shrine containing a hero, a hero trial nearby, it will lead you there by emitting a series of sounds. The interval between sounds shortens the closer you get to a shrine. To stop searching for your object of choice, set the Sheikah sensor on your map to off. Um, well, that wasn't exactly useful. Is there anything else that I missed before I talked to Pura? Or Pura? Huh, I wonder what the preferred pronunciation on that, on that is. Do you prefer Pura or Pura? A, Pura, B, Pura. <laughs> hey, 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 are you surprised? A little. The director of this laboratory is not Simon, it's me. S did she seriously just... Oh, wow. Okay, snappity snap. Anyway, Linky, do you remember any dreams from your time in the slumber of restoration? You don't look like you've changed a bit in the last 100 years, but something must have happened in all that time. Well, no matter, I'm just happy you're still in one piece. Linky, what's with that look? Do you, you, you do still remember me, right? I think it's been established that we have amnesia, so I don't remember it's safe. Really? Oh, wow, that disappointed look on her face. Well, I'm so shocked. I don't know if I'll ever be able to recover. Oh, wow. The dialogue in this game. Even though 100 years ago I took you to the Shrine of Resurrection after Calamity Ganon fatally wounded you. Even though I was the one who put you safely into the slumber of restoration. Despite all that, you still don't remember me? I'm sorry. As expected. After a hundred years in this has lost all memories, noted. Oh, sorry, I have a bad habit of taking notes rather abruptly like that. It's a charming quirk, isn't it? Anywho, do you have any questions for me? There's there's only one choice, okay. How very rude. I didn't have a choice between rude and not rude, so thank you. Hmm, or perhaps it's not rude at all. I suppose that's actually a rather logical conclusion to jump to. The truth is, I look this way because of a failed experiment. Tell me more, Mrs. Owl. Well, I, I say failed, but in some ways it was a success. I documented the full affair in my diary upstairs. But the whole thing is embarrassing, so I insist you refrain from... Oh, thank you, you gave me something to do. Anyway, enough about that. Back to the topic at hand. Here you are after a hundred years. Here to defeat Calamity Ganon, who is growing in strength with every passing moment. And to rescue our beloved Princess Zelda, that is, if you've got the courage to try. Well, I am the hero... Her hero... I can't get a close-up of Link. I am the hero of courage, after all. And to help the one true hero, I, the one and only Pura, will restore the basic functions missing from the Sheikah Slate. And what do you say to that? Yes, please. I knew you'd say that. All right then, first you need to run an errand for me. With, what's with that look on your face? Do I have, no I don't, okay. You didn't think I'd fix your Sheikah Slate for free, did you? I'll be honest, nope. Hmm, you're pretty considerate for a young person. But then, I suppose that's because you're actually over 100 years old. Let me explain what this errand entails. You know the unlit furnace on the wall just outside the fact, uh, the factory, this laboratory? Yeah, I kind of noticed that. Could you please bring the blue flame from the ancient fur- I knew that blue flame would be important. Oh, and also use it to light our furnace. This sweet little guidance stone will start working once you do that, allowing us to restore your missing runes. Huh, I wonder if young women these days still say things like sweet and little. Oh, well. Ah, uh, well, I suppose it doesn't matter anyway. Okay, then, I'm counting on you for the blue flame. Okay, so, updated adventurer's log, but we're going to ignore that to how... Hmm. 
words do not even begin to describe. Pitchfork. Lizard, 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 lizard. It committed suicide rather than become a part of my adventurer's pouch. Sunshroom. Okay, cool. Um. Oh, stairs. Wait, where does this go? Right back in here. Um. Farming hoe is more power. What do I have? Oh. You know what? If you're more powerful. Uh, 16? Yeah, I'll go ahead and take that. Just, what, what, in the, what in the world? I have a feeling that, um, Pura did that. Okay, is there a diary in, there's a map. No, that's not a map, that's a picture of a cottage. And that is... Uh, Temple of Time? Maybe? Well, there's enough. Oh, there's another. Uh, windmill? Maybe? I don't know. Oh! I almost had to reclimb this entire thing. There's pieces of guardians up here. Well, Pura certainly isn't uh, afraid, of, uh, afraid of those, but I think she said that she researched them. And there's some research notes up there. Research diary for anti-aging rune. Classified for pure as eyes only. First page. Date unknown. Work has finally begun on my anti-aging rune. If all goes to plan, I believe it will effectively reverse the aging process. This technology will enable us to make retired warriors young again, therefore strengthening the Hy Hyrulean army. Hmm. Help for Link. When Calamity Ganon inevitably returns, we'll be ready. Our offense will be solid, and our defense impenetrable. The need for this tech pains me, but I truly hope to use it to attain everlasting peace for all. The beta version of my anti-aging rune is complete. I have already added it to the Sheikah Slate I made for myself. She made a Sheikah Slate. How much does she know about this technology? I mean, that's insane. Since I am to be the test subject of this experiment, Simon booted up the rune and directed its rays at my body. After 20 seconds of exposure, I felt extreme fatigue and broke into a fever, forcing us to cease the experiment. Unable to stay awake, I went to bed immediately. Tomorrow I will try to figure out what went awry. Trial Day 2 My extreme full body fatigue has slightly improved, for which I am, I am grateful. Still, I do not recognize the face in my mirror. My hair is thick again and floor length. My wrinkles once deep as trenches have vanished without a trace. It seems the anti-aging effects work. Anti-aging effect works. However, I did not expect the reversal to happen so frighteningly fast. This morning I kicked Simon awake and had him run a full physical exam on me. My height, weight, vision, bone density, heart, blood. We tested everything we could we could, pushing our facility to its limits. Our discoveries were startling. The res my results were typical of a Sheikah woman in her early 50s. In other words, I reversed my, my age by more than 70. Holy cow, how long do these people live? I can only hope I do not awaken to find I have the body of a newborn baby. Day 3. I awoke with an abundance of energy. I had, uh, it, has almost, it has been decades since I slept so well. Upon waking, I immediately checked the mirror, only to be greeted by a youthful version of myself. According to Simon's examination, I, I, have the I have the body of a Sheikah woman in her 30s. So we've gone back in time by 90 years. Let's, let's see if I can keep track of this. 30 years old. I was around that age when I f was first able to continue my, uh, continue my research following the Great Calamity. Okay. So this has... Okay, if this happened... If this reversed her age by 90 years, and it was shortly after the calamity, the calamity happened 100 years ago. That means that this diary took pl this diary was written 10 years ago. Okay, the first thing I did was try to figure out how to expand the functionality of the Sheikah sensor. 
I was around 80 years old when that expansion was completed. I intend to, I intend to bequeath this tech on, uh, to our sleeping hero. I hope to the gods that he will be able to assist in the destruction of, of the calamity that swallowed our Princess Zelda whole. Day 4. After today's uh, routine physical, the results show that I have the body of a Sheikah woman in her 20s. I haven't felt this good in a century. This is all taking me back to when the Great Calamity happened. Ganon... Okay, maybe... Okay. So did the Calamity take 10 years to complete? I don't know. I guess we'll figure it out as time goes on. Ganon had been dormant for 10,000 years. Perhaps his power had been building all that time. The slaughter that followed was arbitrary and merciless. The destruction complete. We lost everything. Hyrule Castle, Princess Zelda, well, perhaps not everything was lost. A youth named Link was brought to me a hundred years ago, covered in wounds and on death's doorstep. Okay, so she was... Maybe my first calculation was wrong, but just based on her wording. Link, so young, yet so courageous. He was the youngest knight to have ever been appointed to the Imperial Guard at the Hyrule Castle. At the Hyrule, really. He was also a gifted swordsman who was selected as captain of Princess Zelda's personal guard. I thought his skills would be enough to defeat Ganon in, in glorious fashion. Since ancient times, the royal family of Hyrule and us Sheikah researchers have had a strong bond. Their, pl their pain is our own. We took the swordsman and the Sheikah slate Princess Zelda left behind to the Shrine of Resurrection. Although the slumber of restoration had not been fully tested, we decided to put the swordsman under to save his life. It was the best we could do. Next page. Day 5. I awoke to something horrifying, a scarlet lump scarring my otherwise useful face. After analyzing this monstrosity, I have come to the conclusion that it is just a pimple. A big one. The horror. The horror of being a teen. The results of today's physical exam indicate that my body and mind have reverted to those of a teenager. If your mind has reverted to that of a teenager, wouldn't you lose some of... I don't know. Maybe not. Eh. It feels like Simon looks at me differently, which irritates me. I got angry when he insisted on running my blood test for me. Yeah, that sounds like a teenager. I mean, really. What even? I can do all, it all my, by myself. In any case, I wonder what, ex, what experiment I should focus on next. The blue flame in the furnace outside is growing weaker by the day. I do hope the gu guidance stone doesn't stop working. Day 6. My age reversal has progressed further still. I now look and feel like a 6-year-old. My height has regressed so much that I can no longer reach things on high places. It's super annoying. <laughs> Where is this genius swordsman we placed in the slumber of restoration? Anyway, wake up already. Oh wow, she's getting impatient. If he doesn't awaken soon, my fe feature, uh, feature expansions for this Sheikah sensor will go to waste. But even if he does manage to wake up, how can I be sure he'll find me here? I want to go and just kick Linky awake, but I doubt Simon would uh, would help me. It'd be hard for my six-year-old body anyway. Instead, I think I'll begin working on a rune to unreverse my aging process. Day 7. Uh, this morning, exam results indicated that I'm still age 6, same as yesterday. Perhaps my age reversal has stopped. As luck would have it, today I also finished developing the beta version of an age-boosting rune. If successful, this should be able to reverse the effects of the anti-aging rune. I hope it will, anyway. All I need is to do to do is increase the output and expose myself to its rays. However, when I tried to add this feature to the Sheikah Slate I made, I found that the Guidance Stone had stopped. What's more, the blue flame in the furnace outside was gone, has gone out. I sent Simon to the Ancient Furnace, but he is, was too clumsy and it was raining and nothing went to plan. So I had to go down there to help, but a girl in the village saw me. What a mess I've made. Not only am I unable to to continue my research in this state, I can only work by the light of gas lamps. What to do? Well, that was educational, and it closed right when I'm leaving. Um, well, I know where the flame is, and in fact, I can take that marker off because reasons. Um... Okay, I think I will actually help with side quest after I get this done, but I do want to help um, Pura and Simon a little bit. Whoa, okay, I hit the wrong button there. That was kind of an interesting drop, but whatever. 
Uh, okay, so I'm not going... There's a sword. Not going to be able to go that way. Rusty broadsword, broadsword, broadsword. Broadsword, I believe, is one-handed. Traveler's sword. Yep, one-handed. Honestly, probably doesn't have much durability, but whatever. Is there anything of note up here? I can go that way or through the village. There's a part of a farm up here. Village is probably starting to wake up by now. Wow, I missed that. Um, now, if I run, I'm going to put my weapon away, and that will put the flame out, so I'm not going to do that. Which means I have to walk. Uh, is that... That is a stone. Of course, it's a Korok uh, seed. <laughs> That distracts me, right? Although, watch it not be a Korok seed. Nope, Korok. I was <laughs> perfectly right. Speaking of Korok seed, uh, Nintendo announced their DLC plans, their, their first round DLC plans for The Legend of Zelda, and of course, pretty impossible to avoid that, so I didn't even bother. Um, and one of the, one of the things that you're going to get is actually a, um, Korok mask that looks a lot like Makar from, um, The Wind Waker, which is pretty cool, and I am going a bad direction. Um, I thought that, I, I think it's pretty cool. Um, I'd like to have something, oh, there are sheep. I'd li also like to have something based on uh, my personal favorite, Medley, but um, I guess you can't have everything. Um, still, regardless, it, it was an interesting little announcement. There were some things in there that, like if, um, there are some things in, things in there that I understand why people are complaining, and, you know, blah, 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 but there were some things in there that were very, very nice. Um, the Trial of the Sword sounds interesting, but um, the, the the travel medallion seems incredibly useful. Okay, I don't know you. What a strangely colored fire! It's almost like an angel uh, angel angler fish's lure. Okay, will you say something else? What a nice breeze! It doesn't carry that tang of salt on it, though. Oops, I forgot we just met. I was reminiscing about my hometown of Luralin Village by the sea. The view and the air are different here in Hateno Village, but this is where my wonderful husband calls home. I count myself lucky to be able to live and work alongside such a wonderful, loving man. As a small fishing community... Com mm. Mm, sorry about that. Community far to the south. I lived there before I moved here with my new husband. We had to cross the Bridge of Hylia to get here. Uh, weighted down with everything we couldn't bear to leave behind. Thinking back on it, it's a wonder either of us survived the trip. Uh, that would put it somewhere here, because I believe the bridge that she's talking about was here? So, I don't know. At some point, I'm sure I'll go there. Oops, that's not what I meant to... Thank you! As soon as I put this... There goes a cricket. Is it about... No, it's just cloudy. Uh, how much further to the lab, actually? <laughs> I kind of find it interesting that... Um, the... Marker hasn't updated. Ah, I've seen this before. Old Granny Puro is carrying it. Hmm, okay, so people have seen Pura carrying the blue flame before, and I didn't get a comment from that first lady. Okay, sure. Although, since she moved from another village, maybe she hasn't seen it before? 
That's a possibility. Walking all this way is taking a while. Oh well. Not a big deal. The first thing I think I'll do, like I said, uh, start start on quests next episode. I think I'll go to the beach and do something about the sheep. I think that's my next uh, point of reference. I'm standing in sight. I went right through that occlusion field. Isn't that... Wait, I can fast travel here. I can fast travel here. Okay, cool. Regardless, for the time being, this will be Draco Breach reporting out. God bless and safe travels.